What's up everyone? Welcome back to Frostburg PE with you and me. So today's lesson will be the final lesson of the virtual PE program. And I'll just be taking the time to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of physical activity, how to be more active throughout the COVID-19 pandemic and healthy eating. First off, we are going to look at the benefits of physical activity. So what I have here is a web page from the CDC, who is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as said or stated at the top of this page. And so what they do is they pretty much help protect people from health, safety, and security threats. So they provide us with tons of information about healthy behaviors, physical activity, health risks, you name it. Anything to do with health, you could probably find it through the CDC. So this page that we're looking at here, this is off of my computer, I'm doing a screen recording. Um, so this is physical activity facts and it focuses on children and adolescents. So as we scroll down, we'll see the benefits of physical activity. So as you should know, or if you don't already know, children should be active for at least 60 minutes per day. That is every single day you are active for at least one hour or more. You could be active for more and that would be awesome, but at least one hour children should be active every day. So looking at the benefits of physical activity, some of them include improving fitness levels, or you can maintain fitness levels through physical activity. You can build strong bones, build strong muscles, and you can also reduce your risk of many different health conditions. And those include, as you can see listed here, heart disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, you name it. So physical activity has a lot of great benefits, which is why we urge our children and adults to remain active throughout their entire lives. Now with that being said, um, you may be wondering how you can become more active while you're stuck at home due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now for children, a lot of times you're getting your activity while at school and participating in your PE classes. But with school moving to the online format and children being stuck at home, it's become tough to figure out ways to continue to stay active outside of um, PE that you may be doing virtually. Um, and I mean, even some schools have opened up and students are able to get the activity that they need through their school. But for those who are still stuck at home, um, there's definitely some things to consider or think about when you're trying to be more active while at home. So I apologize if I'm looking down, but I have my notes here in front of me. Um, so the first thing you can do is cut down or limit your time playing video games, watching TV, or playing on your phone. Anything that has to do with you sitting down and basically staring. So. The more time that you're spending on your technology means that you aren't spending much time being active. You're spending your time sitting and watching rather than doing. Thinking about how much time you may be spending on your different devices, try turning your technology into a helpful source for physical activity. So one example could be that if you enjoy watching YouTube videos, finding videos or channels that help lead you through different activities that you may enjoy. So a good one is a channel like mine where we're learning different skills and we're doing different activities and we're up and moving the entire time or most of the time. If you like playing video games, finding games that help you be more active. So. A very popular one that I know of is called Just Dance, where um, there are two figures or one figure on the screen and they are dancing to popular songs and you just follow along with them. So you're up and moving while 
still technically playing video games like you love to do. Another way that you can be more active uh, during this pandemic is to go outside, um, spend some time in the outdoors, go for a walk, visit your local playground, uh, play backyard games with friends and family so long that you are staying safe by wearing your mask and staying distanced. Um, so being outside, I feel like you naturally are involved in activity no matter what it is. Then lastly, ask a parent to help you get involved with a local sports team. Um, now, at this point in this pandemic, things are starting to open up as people learn how to be safe when they're participating in sports with different people by wearing your mask and staying distanced as much as possible and doing these activities outdoors as well. Um, with sports teams, you are naturally provided the activity that you need as a part of the game. Um, I know when I was younger, I started to play basketball and I did gymnastics a little bit, but I would go to practices and games a few times a week and I was able to get the activity that I needed every single day. So just as a bit of a recap about the benefits of physical activity, it's important to get at least 60 minutes or one hour of activity in every single day. So physical activity also helps our body stay healthy um, as it builds strong bones, it helps us build strong muscles, and it also helps us reduce our risk for different diseases down the road, including heart disease, cancer, um, and even obesity, which is a big issue in the United States today. So we talked about a bunch of different ways to be active during the COVID-19 pandemic, which is cutting down on your use of technology if it doesn't involve helping you become more active. Um, we talked about going outside with friends and family, uh, things like going for a walk, going for a bike ride, or playing on the playground if you have one near you. And then lastly, looking into signing up for a sports team if you are ready. Um, I know that the pandemic is still going on, but things are starting to open up and people are figuring out ways to stay healthy by wearing a mask, getting vaccinated, and staying socially distanced. I'm going to discuss a little bit is healthy eating, which goes alongside with staying active. So the first thing to note is you wanna make sure you are getting the vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats that you need every single day. So first, let's break it down a little bit and let's talk about vitamins and minerals. So in short terms, vitamins and minerals will help your body grow and develop. So they're important to have in your diet every single day. Next is carbohydrates. And carbohydrates are responsible for giving you energy and they also store energy in your body. One thing to remember about these is that they are quick energy. and You can find them in things such as bread, fruits, grains, and sugary foods. Next, we have proteins which help to build up your muscles. And you can find these in meats, seafood, nuts, seeds, and eggs. And then lastly, we have our fats which provide us with energy and stores energy just like the carbohydrates except the energy that is stored is to be provided over a longer period of time rather than being that quick energy. Being said, a great website to take a look at is called MyPlate.gov. So MyPlate is a guide that will help make sure that you are getting everything you need in your diet every single day. And one of the cool things that I noticed about this website is that it can help create a plan for you to provide you with the right nutrition specific to you. And you can have your parents help you fill out the information that is needed to do just that. So what you can do is you can scroll down to where it shows you the food groups in the my plate. So the food groups are fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins, and dairy. 
And I didn't know how to find this any other way. So in order to get to the part that builds a plan for you, you can click one of these and you can scroll down to where it says my plate plan. And so with the my plate plan, you can fill out your age, male or female, height, weight, and your physical activity levels. And it also mentions here that you can view this in Spanish as well, which is great. So if you go over here to the right where it says get your my plate plan, go ahead and click start and it gives you everything that it shows to the left here on the right so you can fill it out. So let's say I am 15 years old. I'm a female. Let's say I'm 110 pounds. We can say that I am 5'1", and we can say that I get 30 to 60 minutes a day of moderate activity. And then once you fill everything out here, you can go ahead and click Calculate Food Plan. So when you calculate your food plan, it says that I need 2,000 calories per day. And you can click this to give you your plan. So it gives you each of those food groups that it showed us before with different measurements of foods to help us get what we need in per day. So if you click read more on the fruits, it's gonna take us back to where we started. Gives you a bunch of information about the health benefits of, I clicked on fruit, so the health benefits of fruit and if you go back, you can see how much fruit you should be getting per day. So we can do one cup of raw, frozen, or cooked slash canned fruit, or we can do a half a cup of dry food, fruit, or one cup of 100% fruit juice. And it shows this for every single portion of the My Plate. MyPlate is definitely a great resource for you to use to help guide you to make sure you're getting all of the nutrients into your diet that you need every single day. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail with the website because I did want to talk a little bit about the benefits of healthy eating as it carries a lot of the same ones that physical activity does. Healthy eating helps reduce your risk for many different health conditions. Um, that are pretty much the same as physical activity like we talked about before. Um, just a bit of a reminder, uh, there's health or heart disease, um, type 2 diabetes, and then one of the biggest ones is obesity. Obesity is one of the biggest health issues that the United States is facing today um, as people don't really have a good understanding of what foods they should be eating every single day and what foods they probably shouldn't be eating as much. And this is why My Plate is such a good resource because it provides you with not only what you need in your diet every single day, but how much as well. Then lastly, drink your water and stay hydrated. There are so many different drinks around today, such as sodas, sports drinks, juices, you name it. They carry so much sugar and so many other things that your body probably does not need. And nothing beats water. Drinking your water every day helps you feel more energized. Um, like I said, helps you stay hydrated. Um, the big thing to remember is you should be drinking as many cups of water as the number of your age. Hopefully that made sense. So in other words, if you are seven years old, you should be drinking seven cups of water. So this little chart I have in my notes here, ages four to eight should be drinking about seven cups of water per day. Ages nine to 13 should be drinking about nine to 10 cups of water per day. And then ages 14 to 18 should also be drinking at least 10 cups of water per day. And the one thing you probably hear most is at least eight cups of water a day should be 
sufficient. It should work. Um, but like I said, drinking, drinking your water is probably the most important thing of all else. Um, one thing I want to mention is when I was playing basketball, I played basketball all my life, um, but I didn't really understand why it was so important to drink water, even though I took health class, PE class, and my teachers always said to drink your water. But I don't know why, but once I got to college and I was playing basketball, I started to drink more water the day before my big games and the day before practices, as well as throughout the day of those games and practices. And I found that I was able to perform a lot longer. I didn't have to really take water breaks because I was already so hydrated. Um, so water is definitely one of the most important things to have in your body every single day. Just as a little bit of a recap for that portion, make sure you're getting all of those nutrients into your body every single day. We talked about vitamins and minerals, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and the MyPlate website is a great resource to use to help you make sure you're getting all of those things into your diet and you should definitely check it out um, yourself or with a parent very easy to use and there's tons of information on there um, also like I just said drink your water um, at least eight cups per day or you could follow that chart that I explained a little bit earlier um, but water is probably the most important thing um, out of everything that you put into your body. So water, water, water. Um, I have mine right here and I fill this up throughout the day and drink it throughout the day. That doesn't mean you have to completely abandon all of your favorite sugary drinks. Just make sure you are drinking tons of water to help outweigh those sugary drinks. So that is gonna be it for today's lesson and I hope that you all enjoyed it. I hope that you learned some new information that you might not have known before. Um, but this is the last lesson for this virtual program and I really do appreciate all of your support um, and thank you to everyone who filled out the survey that I included in the descriptions of the previous videos but feel free to share this channel out to friends, family, other teachers, students, you name it. But again, thank you all for all of your support.